Hello, my lovely Virgos. It's Robin here. Thanks, guys, for joining me on Aries Fire Tarot today. So I do a bonus read at the end of every month, and this one is called Eye of the Tiger. Okay, so uh, just so you guys know, if you clicked on this and it's not it's not March anymore, this is a timeless reading. I'm just recording it in March. Okay, so this is called Eye of the Tiger. This is going to be for Virgo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be using the Crystal Visions Tarot card deck to do this read for you, so I hope you enjoy, okay? Absolutely for Virgo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this one is not working, your Sun sign, maybe check out your Moon sign for now. So Eye of the Tiger, we're going to ask our spirit guides, like how can you be a little bit more brave in your life? And this would be like speaking your truth and just showing up in... Um, how you feel to be your most self-assured presence okay so let's the page of wands okay so i'm getting a really strong sense that you guys do have a guide that you're not quite tapping into enough okay so and this person it really does feel like an ancestor this could be uh somebody in your family that passed to the other side of the veil and they share some sort of fire sign um, DNA. Okay. So that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. So there's probably somebody in your, like not too far away, um, you know, a grandparent or a great grandparent, somebody that you really admired and respected that, wow, like the tone of their voice was really on point. You know, it got people to listen to them. Um, maybe it was the way that they, adjusted their shoulders when they were about to lay down some truth or the way they walked into a room and they were very powerful. I feel like that ancestor is beside you, kind of guiding you to like take your presence up a notch, okay? Because Virgo, you guys are very, um, like you have a really strong presence, but it's more one of like a healing love, okay? So, and, and that can be misinterpreted by people as a weakness. So, you can still be that energy. Like, I really encourage you to be that energy because you bring so much to the world. But with this kind of stance that you could, you probably inherited it. And now that your ancestor is coming forward and saying, okay, this is how you're able to speak your truth without your voice shaking. This is how you're able to command a room, okay, and just walk in and own the space. Um, just sort of with demeanor and tone of voice so that your message of, of love can be heard by other people, okay? So your bravery is really linked into a DNA connection with somebody that passed over pretty recently, I would say within the last 50 years, somebody that you were able to at least watch and, and have an opportunity to really admire their strength, okay? Especially if they were somebody that was protesting against circumstances that were meant to hold them down in that timeline of their life, okay? So um, <clears throat> maybe just start tapping into them and just like call on them before you have like, if I say you have a presentation or you have some sort of a scenario that you're very uncomfortable with you could invoke their name and they would be able to help you like invoke the name of your ancestor and just say can you walk beside me as i enter this whatever it is enter the room um to be able to allow me to be more present in my bravery okay so the next question that we're going to ask is how to bring a little bit more wealth into your life. And I'll pull a card for that for you guys. I'll take the top card here is what I'm being guided to do. So the five of wands, okay? So I'm seeing quite a bit of like sketchy behavior going on kind of around you. Um, this is sort of a, a message of avoidance for you guys. <sighs> I'm also getting that you guys could really tap into the same ancestor here because I have the feeling that they did quite well monetarily. So there's, I see that you guys are kind of surrounded by scam artists a little bit. You could have noticed that your, your spam, you know, is increasing. Um, you could be getting text messages. Oh, click this link to confirm your information because you have a bank account or whatever, a refund. Okay, so don't be doing any of that stuff, okay? It's like you guys are really on a strong course forward 
as long as you pay attention to your original ideas about maintaining your bank balance and increasing wealth. Um, so what I'm getting here is more messages like not to fall for anybody's kind of BS when it comes to like a really fast turnaround time. Oh, invest a thousand dollars with me and I'll get that back to you tenfold in a week. It's just a bunch of garbage. So don't fall for anything like that. Hold on. I'm also getting to really watch your investments and purchases right now because the market could just be a little bit too volatile for you guys to enter into, okay? Um, so just really keep your head on straight when it comes to investing your money and responding to unsolicited inbox messages or phone calls or mail that are asking you for information because the scams are so sophisticated right now. Like people are just falling for them left and right. And that that's not like, don't put any blame on yourself or anybody that you know, because people just are so slick when it comes to stealing money from other people. So just keep an eye on that and trust your own gut when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, so let's see how to make your own luck here for you, Virgo. And let me pull a card. Okay, so this is going to be kind of, they say like a hard pill to swallow, okay? So you do have the tower card, okay? So this is going to require that there is a, a recognition that very challenging circumstances are actually the harbinger of good fortune, okay? So things get really tough before there's a breakthrough. You know how they say that it's darkest before the dawn, okay? So the tower moment represents some sort of a shakeup circumstance like uh, maybe losing a job or losing a little bit of money, but it's actually preparing you for the bounce back of that, okay? It's stretching the elastic band of your life and it'll snap it back and things will just promote from there, okay? So when you're going through a tough time, as in with the tower card, you're never meant to lose faith that things are gonna work out for you, okay? So if you kind of focus on what is happening, whatever, like, horrifying moment like losing your job is very difficult you can let me know in the comments if that has ever happened to you but what direction were you able to take your life from there or if you were totally in love with somebody and they broke up with you and then you found somebody that you were much more compatible with okay so the tower is actually removing an obstruction but it can feel like a great big huge step forward and you could just say uh i'm done like i can't do this anymore that's a wrap i'm just not going to do this but having the recognition that the the bad luck that you might be seeing with the tower is actually opening the door to the thing that you have been asking the universe for so you have to just keep on going okay because the universe is going to create our situations for us. You know, you have your goal in mind and the universe is going to go, okay, well, I think the best path for you to get there is this way. And then you'll pass through this really uncomfortable tower moment, but then I will get you there. Okay. So just have continued faith that your circumstances, even if they are a little bit like want to make you squirm, you're going to get to the other side and that luck is going to continue because you understand that this is just a distraction and be a very, like I said before, uncomfortable one, but just keep on going. Just keep your head up, shoulders, shoulders back. Like I was talking about your ancestor, like really continue to be brave um, and keep your eye on your own prize, okay? So I'm gonna wrap, wrap up the reading, guys, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.